Hey guys, hope you're all well. Uh, thanks for clicking on Outsider. I'm going to show you something today. Easy little project for you. That with materials you can find around the house. Or you can obtain easily. I'm going to show you how to make a pot stand. For your fuel burners. For your hexamine blocks. And for your fire gels. Right then guys, this is what you're going to need. You need a set of pliers, pen knife, two barbecue skewers, and a pair of scissors, and some sort of tin can, okay? So let's start with a tin can. Take your pen knife. Let's cut the round. See, let's do that, right? Cylinder. Take your scissors next. So what are we after guys? We have to slither a metal like that, okay? So the next thing we need to do is to straighten the barbecue skewers out. Taking the players. You don't have to be Gucci, okay? Just straighten them out. Like so. Same both skewers. I'll do guys. So you end up something uh no they're not exactly straight but we take them in the field we are, you know, not for a five-star restaurant, okay? So I straightened the skewers out. Let's move on to the next stage. So what are we going to do now, guys, right? You want to come in about an inch. Make a bend like that, okay? Just about an inch in. I'll do it again, I just want to show you. Right, so you can even measure it on the other one if you want. You want to be pretty accurate. As you can see, we're not using a measuring tape here, okay? It's just an easy project. You can do where you want. You can do it in the field. So I'm just coming in an inch, bend at a right angle. Like so. Right? So we need to do next guys. Taking a burner. So that's gonna be the bottom, okay? So you wanna measure about an inch above the burner, okay? Because tests have shown that's the most efficient for boiling water and boiling food, okay? So about an inch. So mark it there. 
and you bend in the same angle as you fought on part, okay? Just, so just bend it over into a right angle again. So now you're looking at that shape, okay? So I've done both barbecue sk skewers now, guys. The same, all right? See? Just gonna sit like that, see? What we're gonna end up with is this. Move on to the next stage. Right, so the next thing we need to measure, guys, okay? Is how long do we want to stand? Okay? Obviously, you can use it for just a, a mug to make a brew. Or if you want to use it for a mess tin kit, you want to come out a bit longer, okay? So I'm going to come out to about there, okay? So I'm going to bend that now. Same direction, guys. Same direction, okay? So you end up with something like that now. We're at that stage, okay? And we're exactly the same now on the other one. Taking it there. And bend it over. So now we've got two of them, okay? We can need that for a moment. So we've got that now, okay? So what we've got now, as I said, is this, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bend this section over to you. Take my players again. An inch. There you go. The other one exactly the same. Just taking a rough measurement. So there. See guys? And just bend over. At the right angle. So we've ended up now with two pieces like so. Right, so now we're ready to put it all together. So we've taken our slither of metal, okay? I'm going to start off using my fingers and I'm going to use the pliers, right guys? So, so all I'm doing is folding it over. Over the two pieces, okay? If you want to wear gloves for this, you can, right? See, so I'm folding over, so I'm like kind of rolling a cigarette. I'm going to use my players now to form it, okay? Because it's soft metal, guys, you see, it's really playable, you know. You get exactly where you want it. There you go. So what you've ended up with now, guys, is a stand look, right? So you can have it as wide as you want. So you put your burner underneath there with your inch cap. Put your mug on top, like so. If you need to wider for your mesh tin. Put 
Put it there. Like so. And the only reason I've done this, guys, I'm not saying uh, this is a new idea, right? But in the job I'm doing, I've always got time to think. And even though the pot stand that came with the, the burner, it's fantastic and it looks apart. It wasn't quite wide enough to hold the mug, you had to be bang on precise. How is it fall off, see? That's not falling off here, guys. That's on here, permanent. As I say, if you're going to cook a main meal, you can spread out as wide as you want. There's a crude, uh, there's a crude bit of kit. It packs down to absolutely nothing. It packs down to that. Slide it down the side of your burger. I'll probably put some sniper tape around there, just to make it a little bit more tidy. There's not much chance of me cutting myself in on the metal. It's not sharp, all guys. It's all tucked in nice underneath. There it is, guys. Little pot stand. Took about 15 minutes to make from start to finish. So I've just put some uh, not very stealthy masking tape around there now. But when I can, I'll get some sniper tape around there, okay? So that's just because you know you are, it is steel under there and it can be sharp, right? But it's not. It's, that's safe, right? That's safe now, guys. So let's go through it again. So you put it like that. You put your burner underneath. Put it like that for you, okay? You pot on top. And you've got a sweet spot there. The inch cap. There it is, guys. So I'm just gonna show you now. I'm gonna make myself a minestrone cup of soup. Use a little tip out to light the burner, right? So take a bit of tissue paper or something similar. Right, okay. And put it in there, like I see. Mugs on top, ready to go. So a really important part is that gap there, okay? You need that. There you go, so that's done. Using a simmer plate. So there's my brew bag here guys, fits in lovely down the back here look. Thanks for watching the video guys, see you on the next one.